What we make is what is called a resophonic guitar. What is a resophonic guitar? It's a mechanically amplified instrument. And these were invented in Los Angeles, California in the 1920s by the Dokiera brothers, who were Slovak immigrants, came here and did the American dream, invented this guitar. It's a, the, it was the quest for more volume before the electric instruments came in, let's say in the late 30s and the 40s. So. It was originally designed for like Hawaiian guitar players and jazz players, but a lot of the blues players picked them up because they just had that sound and the volume that could be heard in, uh, you know, in some dive bar or in some auditorium or out on the street. The National Steel Guitar was invented by the Dopiera brothers in California in the 1920s. In 1928, Tampa Red, born in Georgia, was the first blues artist to record with the National Steel Resonator. Between the 1930s and 1950s, other bluesmen that adopted the National Steel Resonator included Sunhouse and Bucka White, born in Mississippi. Blind Boy Fuller, from North Carolina, and Reverend Gary Davis, from South Carolina, to name a few. In 1969, Johnny Winter, an albino Texan bluesman heavily influenced by the Delta Masters, released his debut album, which includes the song Dallas on a resophonic guitar. In 1991, Banjo Bones attended a Chris Whitley concert in Maryland. Whitley became one of Banjo Bones' main influences, and in this concert he covered Dallas by Winter. Based on the profound influence of Chris Whitley's playing, Banjo Bones acquired his first resophonic guitar, a wooden body dobro. In a 2008 trip to Boston, Massachusetts, Banjo Bones acquired his Stylo National Steel resophonic guitar. In 2018, now living and working in Sacramento, California, Banjo Bones records his fourth album, Ghostly Musings from the Delta in which his National Steel Resonator is heavily featured, bringing the Resonator back to where it all began. Reality's a bitch 